income earned after the death of the taxpayer is considered income of the state. An estate is a type of trust which must file trust tax return. There are two types of trust. First one is a testamentary trust. Testamentary trust is formed after the death of the taxpayer. And we have inter vivus trust. Inter vivus trust is formed while the taxpayer is alive for the benefit of beneficiaries. Inter vivus trust always have December 31st year end. In this chapter, we are only focusing on testamentary trust. Testamentary trust can have any year end. It normally starts from the death of the taxpayer and you can take 12 months. So in the first year you are filing testamentary trust, you can choose the physical year end of testamentary trust. If you look at page 1 of T3 return, under testamentary trust, we have two types of trust. First one is spousal trust. Spousal trust is strictly formed for the benefit of the spouse. So all the incomes earned by that trust is only allocated to the surviving spouse. And we have other testamentary trust in which income is distributed to beneficiaries such as children or relatives. Now if you look at page 2 of trust return, on page 2 we need to put various incomes earned by the trust. These incomes include incomes from capital gains, dividend income, rental income, business income, fishing income and so forth. All the incomes are added up to arrive at total income. From total income, we can take certain deductions such as carrying charges, interest expense, and trustee fees, and so forth. And we will arrive at net income. From net income, we can take various other deductions such as business losses, and capital losses and we will arrive at taxable income. Once we have taxable income, we will go straight into calculating federal tax. There are no non-refundables for trust returns. So we will calculate federal tax using Schedule 11 and on Schedule 11 you will see that we have same tax brackets that we had on T1 general. Only item we are missing is there are no non-refundable credits. But on Schedule 11, we can take a deduction if a state made any donations and gifts. After calculating federal tax, we will calculate provincial tax. Once both of these taxes are calculated, we will come back to page 4 of the trust return. On page 4, we will allocate federal tax and provincial tax and that would be our total tax payable. From ta total tax payable, we can take certain credits such as if there was a, any tax paid by installments. And we will take the total payable minus credits to come up with balance due or refund. Trust return must be signed by trustee or executor. And we always, if it's the first year you're filing a T3 trust return, you need to attach a copy of the will with the trust return. So basically, now the trust tax return is complete. And trust, return, trust tax return must be filed no later than 90 days after the physical year end of testamentary trust.